y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today's project is this cute clutch. This is an envelope style clutch that we are going to finish with a magnetic clasp so it stays securely closed, and it also has a wrist strap so that you can carry it and still have your hands free. I'm going to put a link below, and at that link you'll find information about getting the pattern to make this, as well as what supplies you're going to need. So go ahead and do that, and then meet me back here and we'll see how to make it. Okay, let's talk supplies. I've gone ahead and cut everything out, but I want you to notice a couple of important points. First of all, I've got my lining, my outer fabric, and my interfacing all cut out for the clutch. But um, the interfacing, this is the right side, the non-fusible side. And the lining are a mirror image of the outer part of the clutch, and that's how it should be. So that little notch where we're going to insert the wrist strap is going to be on one side, it doesn't matter which, on the outer fabric, and it needs to be on the opposite side of the lining and the interfacing when everything is right side up. I've got the wrist strap cut out. I've got the parts of my magnetic strap here and then sewing supplies. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to put the interfacing, we're going to fuse this to the wrong side of the outer fabric. Now you can see I actually I had to double check myself because I was going to cut it on the wrong side here but once I have these mirror image that means that when I put them wrong sides together those notches are going to match. You'll also notice that on the interfacing I've trimmed off the seam allowances all around the sides. That's because this is pretty thick stuff and I really don't want it in the seams. So all I'm going to do now is line that up and then I'm going to fuse it to the wrong side of my outer fabric. Because this has so much glue on it and it's such a heavy um, interfacing, it's going to take a little while to fuse on. Okay, so once I've got that fused on, you can see from the right side it gives the fabric quite a bit of body. So I'm going to leave that and then um, the next thing we need to do is we need to prepare our wrist strap. In order to do that, I'm just going to fold it wrong sides together and I'm going to make a crease mark. Use the iron if you need help making that crease mark. And I'm going to fold each edge of the strap towards the center and then I'm going to fold the whole thing in half and I'm going to stitch down both sides. So I'm using clips to hold this since this is got a vinyl like texture and I feel like pins would leave pinholes so I'm going to use the clips instead and now I want to sew down both edges of the wrist strap so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll meet you back here to show you the next step okay I've gone ahead and I have sewn down both edges of the wrist strap so now this is ready and the next step is going to be to start inserting the magnetic clasp on the top edge of the lining so what we're going to do is we're going to start by reinforcing that top edge. Um, I'm just going to use lightweight interface and I'm going to layer a couple pieces of this lightweight interfacing right into that. I don't want to use the heavyweight interfacing here because I'm going into the seam allowances. But I do want to put something so that it doesn't um, pull the clasp right out of the fabric. So I'm just going to fuse that on. And then what I'm going to do is take the clasp. The clasp is going to end up showing on the right side of the fabric. So keep the seam allowances in mind, but kind of push the clasp um, really hard where you're going to want it to go. And I can see them, but I don't know if you can see them on camera. There's two little indents now in the fabric. And I want to cut a couple of little slits there and be really careful when you do this. Like, barely make a snip because you don't want big snips that won't cover by the clasp. So we'll push it in through those slits and then here's where we want to use another little piece of that really heavyweight fusible interfacing. I'm going to mark it again same way I did the other side pushing those prongs really hard to make little indents and then I'm going to snip into it 
and I'm going to push this onto the back side of the clasp just to kind of help give it even more weight so that it doesn't pull through that fabric. Finally, you add the little disc, the metal disc to the back, and then you're going to bend those prongs outward. And if you can't bend this by hand, which you should be able to, but if you can't, you can also use a rubber mallet on this. Just make sure to be gentle so that you don't poke a hole right through your fabric. Okay, the next step after you've got that clasp piece installed is we're going to fold up the side seams. So I'm just going to match those bottom edges, matching up corner up here, and I'm gonna pin, especially because this lining fabric is really silky and slippery. And then do the same thing with the other bottom edge and repeat this with the outer fabric. Okay, so I'm gonna sew both of these seams. And then I'm also sewing both of these seams. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, seams are sewn and you can see that envelope kind of shape starting to appear. One very important thing that I forgot to mention before I headed to the sewing machine, you need to leave a gap in one of the lining seams because this is how you're gonna turn the whole thing right side out later. So leave that gap open, doesn't matter which side, just one of the side seams on the lining fabric. Then you wanna turn the lining right side out and we are going to place it right sides together with the outer fabric. And we're gonna take the wrist strap, fold it in half, and you're going to align it right into that notch on whichever side your notch ended up on. Align the lining with the outer fabric all the way around. Okay, and now you're going to stitch all the way around, turning at those corners, going into the notch and around. And then we're gonna turn the thing right side out. So let's see what that looks like after I sew it. Okay, so we've sewn all around the edges of the clutch and now it's time to find that hole in the lining and turn the thing right side out. Before we do that though, we do want to clip into the corner of the notch there and we do want to clip off, trim off the corner at the top edge too. And then go ahead and turn this right side out. You can use, this is called a point turner and you can use that to help you get sharp corners at the edges. Just don't poke so hard that you end up poking a hole in your fabric. Okay, once you've got this turned right side out, you may want to top stitch around the edges, folding that lining so that it doesn't pull out and then top stitching. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, now that I have top stitched all the way around the opening, there are two steps left. Neither of them needs the sewing machine. First, I need to pull the lining out and I'm going to blind stitch that lining opening closed. So to blind stitch, what you're gonna do is take a threaded needle and you're going to come up through the seam allowance so you hide the knot inside, and then you're gonna fold your two seam allowances towards each other with the raw edges inside. And what you wanna do is take a series of parallel stitches right along those folds. So first on one fold, and then on the other fold, a parallel stitch right next to it. What this is gonna do is this is gonna create kind of a ladder of stitches between those two folds. And then when you pull them tight, the stitches disappear into the fold.
So go ahead and tuck that lining in and then finally what we need to do is install the other side of the magnetic clasp, the magnet part. So I'm going to go ahead and clasp that to the first part that I installed and I'm going to fold my handle down to where it goes and then push those prongs to make marks. Okay, and then I just want to carefully poke through and I'm poking through the outer fabric, the inner facing, and the lining. Be really careful here. Poke a smaller hole than you think you need to. Now we could have installed this side of the clasp on the outer fabric by itself first. The reason I didn't do that is because I find, depending on your seam allowance and things, sometimes if it's not perfect, um, you run into difficulties when you go and install the clasp and they don't line up perfectly. So I always like to fold mine to see exactly where that clasp is going to end up before I go ahead and insert it. Alright, I don't know if you can see down in there, but it's the same thing where I've got the prongs coming through and now I'm just going to insert that backing piece and bend those prongs out. Yes, this means the prongs are visible on the inside of my purse. If this was a bag that I was going to carry more things in, that would concern me more than a little clutch like this where you can barely see the inside anyway. All right, there we go. And so, that'll hold itself shut. You've got a wrist strap to put it on your wrist if you want to carry it. And here's the envelope clutch.